Hello there. How are you doing? I'm doing well. Thanks for asking. Couple of things. Number one, my couch is being delivered today. My sleeper sofa. And so I fucking feng shuied my room and it is fucking beautiful now. And I finally got all my decorations put up and like I went on a motherfucking cleaning spree yesterday. I cleaned everything. I finally got rid of this pile of fucking stuff that's been in the corner of our bedroom forever and I hung all the clothes up. It's all good. It's all done. It's all clean. My couch is finally coming today and I'm so fucking excited. So if you're interested in seeing my little setup because I rearranged a little bit, I'll go ahead and include that at the end of this video. Today is going to be an updated makeup routine because I haven't done a makeup video in quite some time. The way that I do my makeup has changed a little bit. So I just wanted to show you like my updated stuff and you know, gear you up for whatever I post my blue blood video because I was able to get the blue blood palette. I also got one of the liquid highlighters, a hat, and one of the lip scrubs. That video will be coming up as soon as I get my stuff. I did buy a couple of other Jeffree Star products though before because I was getting uh, excited. So I finally bought one of his highlighters. I haven't had one of his highlighters before. And let me tell you, this thing is huge and it's heavy. I got Nefri and it is fucking it's like a purpley pink situation and it's gorgeous i have to be really careful with it because it can go on real fucking strong but i'll probably put this on today so you can see and then i bought three lip ammunitions i'd really been wanting the little toppers so i got beam me up and alien tears oh my god and they're so beautiful beam me up is like one of my fucking favorites it's a sparkly i wore it over this is androgyny i have the liquid version and i wanted to get the bullet version i got this it's my favorite color and i really like it in the lip ammunition so i did the other day for work i did androgyny and i did beam me up on top of it and that was like a really dank ass combination <laughs> and then i also got alien tears which damn bitch I wanna try and use these as like highlighters to, oh, I just like fucked that up. So yeah, things have changed in my routine. For the last year or two, two years, something like that, maybe longer, I've been using the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base to prime my face and I ran out of it and um, where I live, the closest like real Sephora is in Portland and I don't really like to go places and I know that I can order it online, but for some reason, I just don't want to wait for it to ship to me. I'm like really fucking impatient about that. I have no idea. And so I was in Ulta and I was like looking for, you know, different makeups and I came across the beauty bakery section and this baking oil. This is what I've been using as my base. I know it's weird. I have oily skin and I use this oil as my <laughs> fucking primer. And so you just... Put it on your face and you let it sink in. I'm gonna repurchase this though. I really like this and my makeup lasts throughout the day. The second thing, I don't know if a lot of people have been talking about it, but Tati talked about it and Samantha Ravendahl talked about it and somebody else. I'm sure lots of people have, but the Kosas Oil Foundation. I bought this because I was like, oh, that's cool because I've been trying to look for a more natural foundation where it doesn't like look like I'm wearing foundation. It's more just kind of like a natural skin thing happening. You know, we just want to be some natural beat bitches. I was very hesitant about trying an oil foundation. So my routine has basically been updated with a lot of oils. For those of you who are unaware, like I just said a minute ago, I have oily skin, so I've always geared more towards matte stuff and like trying to combat oils and everything. But I've found that using the baking oil and using this oil foundation, which has like some vitamins and stuff in it, I don't know, I threw the box away, so Google it, but it's got like vitamin E and stuff in it. I got shade number one. They don't have a whole bunch of like, shades but they have like different levels of like the tones or whatever and it adjusts to your skin tone i have not seen this on darker skin so if you have dark skin and you've tried this like let me know how it is because for me this gives me a perfect match like a perfect fucking match to the point where i was wearing this i was like you know what let me switch it up because i've worn this for several days in a row and i went back to superstay and it a looked 
so cakey. I haven't felt like that foundation has looked cakey on me ever. And it was like a tinge dark. And then I tried my Bobbi Brown Skin Longwear, which normally I've been like, oh, this is a perfect like natural skin foundation. And it's like the perfect shade. And now that I feel like looks too dark and too cakey on me. But like if I try to buy something lighter, it's like too light and then I don't like it. And this has replaced everything. Like I haven't wanted to go back to it since I've been wearing this. Like, oh, it's beautiful. And I apply it with my fingers. I've tried applying it with a beauty blender. I've also applied it with the Jeffree Star foundation brush. I found when I apply it with a beauty blender, it makes it look very oily throughout the day. When I do it with the brush, it looks a little heavier. It still looks natural, but not the look that I really want. My pores are exaggerated. And when I apply it with my fingers, it's absolutely perfect. Major changes right out the gate, you know? And I just pour a little in my finger like this. And then put it here and here and here. Then it takes a little finessing, especially applying it with your fingers, but it works. And I don't know if it's because the oils in my fingers help to mesh everything or what, but I don't know, dude, I just, I've been loving it. And when I apply it with my fingers throughout the day, I have a healthy glow. Like it looks, it looks like I have healthy skin. It's not too shiny. It's not matte. Like it kind of doesn't look like I'm wearing makeup. It just looks like I have really nice skin, which is what I want. And it's like the perfect, match to my skin and everything and I don't have to like I don't feel like I have to blend it down my neck for it to look good now I haven't seen myself on camera with this on yet so while I'm editing I may be like oh bitch this looks so weird but like I don't know whenever I look at my skin throughout the day at work I don't see anything and I feel like it blends just fine with my fingers it does transfer a little bit it's not like budge proof it lasts all throughout the day. If I'm not touching my face, if I don't accidentally hit my face, like it lasts all day long. But if I get a smile line, I could rub my smile line out, but it also will take off the foundation. But you know, if you can avoid touching your face, it works for me, man. I'm still using my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind, so that hasn't changed. I don't know why I picked up that mirror because I do not apply this shit and like look in that mirror. I only use that for like close up stuff, like my eyes and my eyebrows. So I don't know what that was about. I've got two songs stuck in my fucking head. I'm not entire songs. <laughs> I should correct myself. I have a couple of lyrics to two songs stuck in my head and one is Elon Musk's R.I.P. Harambe. <laughs> R.I.P. Harambe. Sipping on some Bobby. And then also PewDiePie's congratulations video. That was such a good fucking like fuck you to T-series. Hey, congratulations, it's a celebration. Like I just, that's, those two things are switching back and forth in my fucking head and uh, I'm okay with it. But I never get full songs stuck in my head. It's just like little pieces of songs. That's probably how everybody is. I'm, I'm probably not weird with that. Oh, also some updated thoughts on the Jeffree Star brushes. So I initially did that video where I reviewed them and I was like, you don't need these. And I still don't think you need them, but as I've cleaned them and like been using them, they've softened up and I do find myself using them more often, but I still don't think that they are revolutionary and that you need them. So if you can't afford them, like whatever, don't do it but if you can and you want it for the novelty please don't expect them to be just like fucking revolutionary and amazing and a must-have but they're cool to have they do feel very cheap the handles i will say as i clean them they feel i've seen pictures of them breaking and they do feel like not very sturdy this is a more sturdy feeling one the foundation brush but the other ones they feel like they're gonna give out at any fucking moment okay the next step i usually use the laura mercier translucent loose setting powder but i haven't bought that again because i thought jeffree star was gonna release his powder and concealer and all that so i had bought this ColourPop one again and i haven't been using this lately i I don't really like this that much anymore. I don't know, I changed my mind a lot. But I picked up another thing from Beauty Bakery, the flower powder. And what I like about this, first of all, this has this little open close situation so that 
the powder isn't constantly spilling out. Although, damn, that is caked the fuck in there because it's not all the way. I set this foundation with this powder. So it really gives it the look that I want. It looks more matte whenever I first set it and then when it warms up to my skin and all of my natural skin oils combined with everything, it just gives me this super healthy, beautiful, natural glow situation that I am loving. So this is my current favorite way to do my makeup. I really like this powder. It feels different than the Laura Mercier powder. Like it's not as fine, but it also is not thick to the point where I feel like it's cake and it just kind of disappears into my skin, which I really, really like. Just, I want makeup to just disappear on my face. That's our goal, right? Oh my God, you guys, there was a new comment on my like bisexual video that I did. And so I went to look at it and whenever I did, my eyebrows in that video are so intense and so thick and so fucking crazy. Like I was like, oh, Oh, it made me cringe very hard looking at my eyebrows in that fucking video. <sighs> Whoa, bitch. We'll talk about that when we get to the eyebrows. For the bronzer, I have still been using this Jeffree Star powder brush for my bronzer and the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. Still like the way that this works. Hey, congratulations, it's a celebration. Are you guys keeping up with the PewDiePie T-Series thing? I fucking am. Ba -da -ba. Blush, I've still been using this ColourPop pressed powder in the color Y. Hello, I really like it. It's subtle and it pretty much just goes with any eye look that I do. The other day I tried to switch to a Tarte one and then a Milani one that's like a lot more pigmented and I felt like I looked like a fucking clown. I was like, holy shit. There's so much blush on my face and I tried to veil it. It wasn't working and I just felt so intense the entire fucking day. Oh my God, you guys, the other day, my boss, I was talking to her about makeup because she was sitting in her office across from me whenever I was trying to buy the Blue Blood palette. And so we were, we got to discussing makeup and she's like, but you don't even wear a lot of makeup. And I was like, wow. Like I felt so, that made me feel so good. Cause I was like, oh my God, she doesn't think that I have like 6,000 tons of makeup on right now. And I literally have an entire mask on. Like that made me feel real good, real confident in my ability to make my makeup look natural. So I am gonna use the Jeffree Star highlighting brush now that I've like cleaned it a couple times. By the way, how I clean my brush is I don't ever like actually wash them with soap and water under the water. I just spot clean them all the fucking time and I've been using this NYX on the spot. I used to have one from H-E-B but I like my H-E-B stopped selling it and I like couldn't find it so maybe they discontinued it. I don't know but I just like spray this like and then I take this towel that's always in my lap and I clean it like this and it's oh that smells so good I love the way that smells um, but I try not to you know dig too hard into the towel to like fuck up the bristles or whatever it gets all the pigments off and it has like antibacterial so it does actually clean them and that's how I clean my brushes I just keep them clean like that and so since I've been doing that it's become a lot fluffier and you know less stiff and it's more like the <laughs> M510, like they're identical. So now I feel like I have two M510s, so that's cool. And I've been using this one because I just like the pink handle. But this is one that feels definitely very flimsy whenever I'm cleaning it. Like I feel like if I do this motion too hard, I'm gonna snap it. So I will barely brush across there, picks up a lot of shit. And so I, oh fuck, I gotta very carefully place that down. Uh, I accidentally applied this way too hard the other day and it was so purple. I really like this. And the blue blood one that I got is the ice cream bling one. And so I'm hoping that'll look really good. And I've seen people talk about them putting it over like their powder and everything and it looks fine. And I'm kind of afraid of liquid highlighters, but I really want to try it out because it's beautiful. See that on my forehead? Very, very intense purple. Oh my God, how do I get rid of that? Okay, well, I think it toned it down a little bit, but 
I don't know why on the left side of my face it always just gets way more intense. This highlighter is gonna last me until the day that I fucking die. There's so much in this pan and you need so little of it. It's absolutely crazy. I have been using the Benefit Precisely My Brow in the color 4.5, which now I'm seeing my videos. I'm like, okay, that's way too fucking dark for me. And I still really like this product. I need to get a different color. And I was shopping in Ulta the other day and I was trying to get a lighter color and I picked one up and then whenever I was walking to the checkout counter, there was ColourPop. And I've heard people talk about these before and so I wanted to try them and they're like five bucks. And so I got the color Light Brown, which is so, so much lighter than the color that I do. It's like almost blonde, but I kind of, I kind of really like it. The tip is not as soft. It's not soft at all. It's very hard. Like I have to, I have to warm it up a little bit. And on top of this like oil foundation, it kind of is hard to use, but it's been making my brows look a lot more natural than when I use that. And so I've been liking a lot. This does have a little spoolie on the end, which I really like. The general way that I do my eyebrows is pretty much the same. I just start on the tail, So I do think this matches my eyebrow color a lot better. I still have to get used to it because it is so much lighter than the other one, but it feels more natural. And I don't want to go as thick with my brows. See, that looks a little more natural, right? Did these just look terrible and I just am delusional? Can y'all let me know that? See, it adds a little more shape to my eyebrow, but I think it looks more natural than when I did it. I'm gonna take a screenshot, like a, a still from my other video. We're gonna compare these two eyebrows because fuck, that was insane. Hi, congratulations, it's a celebration. Oh, if you haven't subscribed to PewDiePie yet, um, please fucking subscribe to PewDiePie. We cannot have T-Series. Keep the lead. Oh, also, can we talk about how Shane and Ryland got engaged on my fucking birthday? Thank you so much for that present. I'm just always gonna remember their anniversary now because it's my fucking birthday, but is salty about Shane and Ryland getting engaged on her birthday for 10 minutes straight. Oh my God, did y'all see Jenna? I mean, yes, you did. I bet you did. Jenna's video where she was teaching marbles how to sit on the hard floor instead of the carpet. And it was a 22 minute long video. And oh my God, that is the literal cutest thing I've ever seen in my fucking life. That dog, Marbles is so cute, dude. I was crying because it was so cute. Do you ever see something that's so cute that it literally makes you wanna cry because it is so fucking adorable? Because I do that all the time. All right, here's the side by side of how I've been doing my eyebrows lately versus how my eyebrows looked in that bisexual video. Fucking crazy, dude. Fucking crazy. This next thing that I've changed is my favorite thing in the entire world. So I've been priming my eyelids with like concealer and then I would either set the concealer or I wouldn't set the concealer and I would find, you know, the eyeshadow applies fine and everything on top of it, but it just doesn't last throughout the day. And I love putting shimmers on my eyelids, but I just know it's gonna break apart and like go away by the end of the day because I have hooded, oily, eyelids. Some of y'all have recommended this to me before as well. And then I went to Reddit, the makeup subreddit, and was like, hey man, like, my eyelids are oily. Can y'all help me out? And quite a few people recommended the Urban Decay primer potion. This has changed my fucking life. It's really weird to get used to. Like I had to kind of reteach myself how to blend my eyeshadow because this is such a different consistency than I'm used to. It's kind of like sticky. I've been working at it for a couple of weeks now and I feel like I've relearned how to do it. And my eyeshadow, I'm so excited about eyeshadow again because it actually lasts the entire day. And so I'm like, yes, I will put in the ex extra effort to do some crazy ass eye looks and have some sparkly ass shimmer because it will last the entire day and will not make me look like a crazy person at the end of the day. So if you struggle having your eyeshadow last throughout the day and you've got hooded eyelids and you're like, I love wearing this shimmer, but it like always transfers and all of this, like bitch, get this. It's worth it, man. It is so fucking worth it. Elon Musk is our fucking real life Tony Stark. He is a billionaire playboy philanthropist and 
he's amazing and I love him. All right, I'm gonna use the Jeffree Star JS5. I'm gonna clean it. I bought another one of Jaclyn Hill's vault collection about the green one and um, I like it. I've worn it a couple of times now. I'm gonna start with Poof. This is gonna be my transition color and fucking why do I go into that voice? I don't, I don't know. Put that all the fuck over my eye. I guess let's go with Potion. Oh my God. So that horrible complex that I moved out of, we paid $2,600 to break our lease. And then we got our final account statement, our final bill. So we had a $200 deposit. We were in that apartment for four months. There were so many things wrong with that fucking apartment. And we left it, we like barely touched that place. We didn't have any furniture at all. Like all I had was my vanity. And then we had, a, we didn't put anything on the walls except for in that little corner where my vanity was in my room. And we hung the little twinkly lights just along the room because there was no light in the room. So we needed a light source. Teeny tiny little baby nail holes, like all the way at the top, you wouldn't even be able to notice them. And so you would think that my $200 deposit would cover any damages and cleaning and stuff that would happen. And when I got the bill, the $200 deposit was used and we still had a balance of almost $300 that we owe. And so I'm looking at the breakdown and they charged $175 for cleaning the apartment, $60 for touch up paint, and like $130 for a carpet clean. So regular cleaning the apartment was $175. And then they had another like $130, $140 for a fucking carpet clean. And then $60 for a touch up paint. We didn't touch the walls. And if you're covering up those little teeny, teeny tiny nail holes, it wouldn't even take a tablespoon of paint to take care of that. You did not have to touch up the fucking apartment. We didn't touch the walls. They were the same as when we moved in. And if you had to cover up those little holes, literally it would just take a teaspoon of fucking paint. And so why they were trying to charge me that fucking much, like I fought it and fought it and I got them down from like $280 to $224. And I was like trying to contact their regional manager, but she would never fucking call me back. The $175 for the clean, like we cleaned that apartment. And obviously look, I work in the industry. We're still gonna clean the apartment, but if you, somebody's only been in the apartment for four months and they don't destroy the apartment and they've paid $2,600 to break their fucking lease, we're not gonna fucking charge them an ass load of money because it's like, hey, look, you've paid all of this. That's great. And so we finally paid it the other day because we didn't want it to get sent to collections. $175? And I never want to deal with that management company ever fucking again. It was a bad time. It was a bad time. I love my apartment that I'm at now. It's the one where I work and it is literally the fucking best. And I have a bed and like a real bed. <laughs> and we're getting the couch delivered today. That's for this room. And then after we get that paid off, we're going to get a couch for the living room. Since we're sticking with green, I'm just gonna take this inside job here on the JS6 and add some more green here. That's a little darker. I guess let's go into power cut and we'll use that across the lid so it's green and silver and I might put a little bit of trickery in it. Okay, I'm gonna dip into trickery here. I'm gonna put it on the outside and kind of center a little bit. Yeah, I like the way that looks. I'm gonna dip back into poof here on my Morphe M514 and I'm gonna blend all of my edges. Let's do the lower lash line. I'm gonna use the M506, it's like an elongated pencil brush and I think I'm gonna dip into, we'll do potion first and then inside job. Switch to a pencil brush, dip into inside job. with my pinky right underneath my eye. Okay, so I'm gonna use this little pure cosmetics thing that I got in a boxy charm a long ass time ago. It's got the highlighter shade in the middle. It's on my inner corner. I'm gonna put that on my brow bone as well. My roller lash mascara as always. This color is called Still Crazy. It's from ColourPop.
That is my updated makeup routine and just kind of like a chit chat life update. If you want to see how I set up my little room here, then stay tuned because that's going to be at the end of this video. All right, um, follow me on Snapchat. It's Dickle Tickle. Instagram is Crazy Cat Lady Starter Pack. Um, Twitter is Dickle underscore Tickle. I don't really tweet, but like you can follow me there if you want. Cause like maybe occasionally I'll, I'll do shit. Subscribe. Okay. So here is my beautiful room, office, guest room, whatever. This desk here, Molly bought for me and it was originally right there. And oh, hello legs. My, this thing, vanity was where that is. And in order to be able to fit my couch, I was like, I need to feng shui this a little bit. So I moved everything. And then in that process, I was like, I just need to go ahead and put everything up. Hung up my Doctor Who blanket, put my little cat thing up here and hung some shit up and Got my little Doctor Who stuff, got my little ornaments of my brother, my old license plate from Texas, my little wine night thing, my Doctor Who poster, which this is the first time this poster has actually been hung because it's just been rolled up forever. That painting, I've got all these cartoons here that my little brother and I used to draw back in church and stuff. We would just draw these while we were bored. There's his little obituary thing his top golf card, some pictures of my friends and I that are fun memories, my family picture. Alec drew this stuff for me one time at my computer here with its nice little crack that's growing. That's nice. My today I will be positive despite the stupid people thing. Another little picture of my family. Oh, this is my favorite fucking picture. Look at that. My little brother was so fun. And yeah, this is, this is my little space. Okay. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye.